Hello, this is Psych. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, what does it mean for scores to be reliable or unreliable? So stay tuned and we're going to talk about it. All right, so today I'm going to introduce the concept of reliability as we understand it in educational and psychological measurement. Um, in subsequent videos, I'm going to talk about how we can apply these concepts or how they're used within classical test theory, and also how we can derive estimates of these values using SPSS. So let's begin with a simple example. Let's pretend that this is my car. I use this car to go to work, the grocery store, and so forth. On some days, the car will work perfectly. So I arrive to work on time. I don't have any kind of hassles, at least any hassles that might be relevant to the car. On other days, however, the car simply won't start. On some days, the car might start and I break down as I'm trying to go to work or let's say the grocery store. So what words would I use to describe this car? Well, we would say that the car is unreliable. In other words, well, there, there might also be other words that we would use. So for example, we could say uh, that the car is untrustworthy. It's undependable and inconsistent. In other words, I can't trust my car to get to work and I can't depend on it simply because it's unpredictable. So let's change the situation. Now each day when I wake up in the morning, my car starts perfectly. I arrive to work without any issues or any issues that's relevant to my car. And in this situation, how would we describe the performance of my car? Well, we would say that the car is reliable. It is trustworthy. It's dependable and consistent. Scores on an educational and psychological test are very similar to our cars. Some scores in a sense, or some let's say set of scores, scores are going to be um, more random than other scores, more unpredictable than other scores. They're less trustworthy, dependable, and consistent. So in other words, some scores are going to be more or less reliable than other scores because they contain less measurement error or maybe more measurement error. So stay tuned for subsequent videos to see how we think about measurement error and to also see how we estimate reliability with classical test theory.